Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to another Friday Night Trivia with yeah. me and Michael. Again, we're going to try out a new place. It's General Knowledge Trivia at a bar we have never been to called Hop Fly. Hop Fly. I almost said Hot Fly. Hot Fly. Hot fly. <laughs> yeah, they're all starting to run together at this point. It's called Hot Fly in South End, and we're really excited to try a seasonal brew. Yes, uh, general trivia this time. No more. No more survey says. says. I think we're one and done with that one. But yeah. come along. I'm going to continue to write out the questions on index cards because I'm never really sure what the audio quality will be. So um, pardon me if that's redundant. But we would love for you to play some trivia with us and uh, maybe help us win. <laughs> yeah, we've never been to this place. So I don't even know what we're looking for, quite honestly. I'm so I excited. hope the environment. Yeah, I'm excited too, and I hope the environment is very conducive to our audience. Yay. Let's See you go. in a little bit. Let's go play some trivia. Guys, it's another pouring down rainy day here in Charlotte, but welcome to Hop Fly. Very excited about this. You ready to lose? Yeah. All right, I hope you can hear me. Mine is pumpkin cheesecake. This cute little thing. I don't know the percentage, I'm sorry. And yours is a just regular. It's like an amber with caramel. Um, in it. Oh. He said it was his fall flavor. It was his fall flavors he had, yeah. Cheers to Cheers. Maybe, th maybe third place again. Okay, <laughs> I'll take third. Let's give this a try. Definitely taste the spices in the in the caramel in, in mine. Definitely taste pumpkin. Yeah, I tried a little bit of uh, the tester up there. On the way down, it tastes kind of like banana vanilla, but not in a bad way. Heavy, no, not heavy. But a very strong vanilla on the end. And an odd banana. It smells just like cheesecake. Yeah. Pumpkin cheesecake. Cheers. Yeah, cheers. Cool little spot. Good luck to us. I got my cards. And he had tons of, of kombucha, too. None of them were fall flavored. Yeah, none but of them were there fall There were a lot of so. options. So that's good to know. If we get a second drink, that'll probably be one of the worst. Yeah. It's super dead in here because you know us. We got here like half an hour early. But I wanted to show you this cool building, cool bar, with some workouts going on over there, merch. All right, guys, here's our team, score sheet, QR codes if you want to scan them. We looked up their Instagram. I don't, I don't think there's a free answer this week, so we're on our own. Cross your fingers. We traded. We did. This like, is better. This decided is I like his better, too. <laughs> Funny how that worked out. Here comes the room. Like we're not all regulars in here. We're not newbies. What is the name for a bird of praise laws? Is the question. So one of the first large flat screen televisions was launched by Sony. 
There's also one song, one other company whose name can be precisely measure 42 inches of the small before 15 grams. What's the company? I didn't hear any of the second half of that question, any of the times you read it out. Oh, it said it, so it said it was 42 inches and it cost $15,000. This other TV. Oh. Yeah, I couldn't understand it. It's a TV brand. Or it's Sonic. Yeah. Sonic. Yeah. Uh, RCA? No. RCA. Right, back when? RCA. Right now? Or flat? 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 I did not know Bay stood for anything. I had no idea of Bay. Bay. He's going fast. Which one? For what? A happy spring. 42 inches. And cost $15,000. The first one that came out with it? It was the second one. It was the first competitor to Panasonic. Question number six. Question number six. What is the name okay, of the biome? The biome that is the natural habitat of the lions. So basically, the question: oh. Where do the lions live? What is the name of the biome that is the natural habitat of the lions? Question number six. Question number six. Yeah. yeah. I think. I'm going to listen last week. Number seven. Number seven. The Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid is a famous landmark in which European city? Once again, in the city, the Little Mermaid is a famous landmark in which European city? I Well. Isn't the Little Mermaid a Scandinavian fairy tale? Probably. So wouldn't it be famous? I've only been in Stockton. I mean, wouldn't wouldn't it be likely that it's a Scandinavian city? Okay, but which or part? Or is it literally like Paris because of Disneyland? No, I, I would pick a Scandinavian country. It's not Iceland. The Little Mermaid? Yeah, but I don't think it's the Disney Little Mermaid. Yeah, I don't think I think it's the original fairy tale, which is from Europe. Would Sony that was the first TV. Sony was the first one. With the flash screen. Question number three. Question which country is the country known as the land of the rising sun? I can't believe they that sounds like it could be China to me or Russia. Land of the Rats. Yes. Yeah. I've heard New of Orleans. Well, that's what country? Orleans. New Orleans. The Rats of the Rising Sun. Yeah, no. But he's talking about what is the country of the Rising Sun. <laughs> <laughs> I like China. Uh, what did he say this man? He told us what the TV man. That's the part I could oh, understand. Yeah. Question nine. Question nine. Question nine. Elizabeth Blackwell. Elizabeth Blackwell was the first woman to receive what kind of degree? So once again, Elizabeth Blackwell was the first woman to receive what kind of degree? <laughs> Is that an English person? Do you know who Elizabeth Blackwell is? Is she American? I don't know. I was assuming that it's something like the first medical doctor, female, but I don't know. I'm okay with a doctorate. I feel like it might be. No, no, medical doctor. Medical? We couldn't just say doctor? A, I don't know if you would accept that. Okay. Medical doctor. Question two. What's going so fast? Last one. 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 Last one.
Question 10, what is a microscopic infectious agent? Not quite alive. Not quite dead. No ads. So once again, what is a microscopic infectious agent that's not quite alive and not quite dead? No ads. Is that a vaccine? Or is it viral? Is it it's, it's an attenuated virus. It's the full actual textbook name. So it's not a vaccine. No. Well, wait. What? What? Let me read the question again. What is the microscopic infectious agent that is not alive or dead? An agent is supposed. I'm assuming. I, I guess what I meant was I thought it was what is in a vaccine. And you're right. A live attenuated virus is what's in a vaccine, right? Oh, uh, pretty good. So, I thought this question was a little bit of a little bit of a little bit There are two answers for this question. And you can, and you will, be given negative points for wrong answers. So you get 100 points for each one you wow. I will take 100 points for anything you put down that is wrong. So if you feel like you don't know both, don't put both. <laughs> you can just go one for one. It's like Jeopardy. Other questions we get right, last hundred we get wrong. Here what? is our question. What two NFL team stadiums? I don't need the stadium to the team. What in two NFL teams stadiums are geographically the furthest apart? So you get hundred right. points for either of the teams. You want to put both? You get two hundred points. We get both of them. Okay. Hundred points for each. You put down the right. We need to know. Does Hawaii or Alaska have a team? Okay. So Hawaii and Alaska are out. I don't know if you can read that. I don't know if you can read that. I'm going to assume that either Buffalo or New York or Boston are the furthest west. Okay. And the furthest west. It would have to be southwest, right? The San Austin. Francisco? No, San Diego. So any team further south of San Diego. It doesn't matter because we don't know the names of that. I don't know the name of that stadium. All right. Oh, it's stadium. Is that what you, what do you want? Which one would be I would further not know. I would not know. East, East, Buffalo or Boston? Boston, I think, is further east, but Buffalo is further north. It's right on the border. I don't know, guys. I have no idea. It has to be Buffalo. We're going like that, right? We're going to, to San Diego, Maybe. Buffalo. I don't know Buffalo Stadium. I don't care if we get a call from the <laughs> All right, guys, help us. Yeah, we have an answer. Yeah, give me a Scandinavian country. It was a city, wasn't it? Oh. Famous landmark in Whittier, Kansas City. I feel like it's Denmark. So What's I feel Copenhagen. I'm going to guess, but that's like I'm only like 40% sure. And then the other one? The other one is the television. TVs. Ah. RCA. Let's go with RCA. I mean, they're not. No, no, I know, but they're not really a rant. He said that their name meant clear something. Clear something. Clear something. And I don't know what else stands for. But it's not going to be Panasonic, and it's not going to be an RCA. Okay. It's going to be something else. But it's not going to be Panasonic, and it's not going to be an RCA, because those names don't mean what was it, close clarity, or? I did not catch the whole second half. I don't know that it would have helped me. And I'm thinking if it was only 42 inches and $15,000. Uh, hey, that has to be some big thing. I don't know. Whoa. All right, round two. 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 They're all going to have one of four different letter combinations in them. So it would be back to back letters or back to back to back letters. Two of your letters. Means. <laughs> half of them will have two letters, and half of them will have three letters, and they will be the same. So once again, all of your answers are going to have one of four different uh, groups of letters that are back-to-back -back in your answer. Can you, can okay, two of the four groups are two letters, and two of the four are three letters. So just start 
Give me your answers okay. and you're noticing if you see any you say so. or letter grouping that will either confirm or deny that you have the right answer. Come on! Okay. Here you are, number two. Number two, number one, and away. We. Go choose the one. These large, beat birds of the Auk family. Come from the, the Atlantic. Horned or tuft species. So once again, these large beaked birds of the auk family come in Atlantic. Horned or tuft, T U F T E D species. Okay, I don't think I wrote this question right. <laughs> I don't think I wrote that right, but I wasn't quite sure what he was saying. Is he not talking about owls? Aren't they owls? Born, there's a born down, yes, very much so. Alright, let's put it down and see if we can get the, the letters to connect to another. Yeah, I liked your answer too, even though I've already forgot what it was. Hawk. 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 <laughs> Let me show you what we put. Right, <laughs> <laughs> this is the name, the name of a party game that's described as, quote, split second charades. So it's a party game that's described as a split second charade. Um. So you're timed? Huh? Are you timed? Like you, you only have a short amount of time? What's your What's your gut? What was the first thing you thought there? Rock paper scissors. Charades? Well, you're acting out something. I don't know. I really don't. Know. First thing that came to my mind is twister. But that's not true. It's yeah. Not charades. But you're using a body. That's what I was thinking. You were using. What game what can you go move with? Fast? Don't, we don't know that that's right. I just know there's a horned owl. It's that. I have a very pretty straightforward question. What is sauerkraut made of? Made in green. Made in sauerkraut. I know this one. <laughs> you need me to help. I don't know if I spelled this right. Let's, let's ask the mother. All right. We're caught. This is the first one we've been confident on. It's cabbage. So. And there's no letters that are associated with that first. Yeah, but he said there were three combinations. I think. Oh. Multiple combinations. This was tough. Oh, no. it's playing mind games on top of the damn trivia. I don't know what's for four. Man. Put four. What cooking term? What cooking term from the French for saucepan refers to both a vessel and a fish. So once again, a little cooking term from the French for saucepan refers to both a vessel and a dish. A dish, not fish. The first thing that came to my mind was saute. That's not a dish. What cooking term from a French saucepan a vessel dish? A cooking term. French cooking for a saucepan that is also a dish. Is there a, yeah, but it's a French word. What term do you use as a minor officer? Is it the United States Court Room? Is it a United Kingdom official who can serve writs or make arrests. So once again, what is the term that is used for a minor officer, the U.S. court, or a United Kingdom official who can serve writs or make an arrest? What do you say, writs or make an arrest? Yeah, W-R-I-T-S, right? I have. Oh! What term is used is that, for a minor officer in the United States but in the United Kingdom? Is, is, that, a, is that a constable? Yeah. Constable? You knew that! Yeah, that's what some people are called. Okay. 
I just seen it moving. <laughs> yes. All this round is hard. We're five is questions in, and I don't uh, understand the uh, I know Pavish is right. I know. <laughs> I feel like Constable is probably right. And we'll have to go back over. I don't remember what four was. We found one pattern. So one pattern is going to be double B, 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 like cabbage and dumbbell. All right, we're going to number seven. My goodness. Number right. seven, what appropriately titled Stephen Sondheim musical features characters like John Wilkes Booth, Sarah Jane Moore, and Charles Gugier? So it's going to look appropriately titled Stephen Sondheim musical. Features characters like John Wilkes Booth, Sarah Jane Moore, and Charles Gugier. I have no idea. I'm mad at myself because I know Stephen Sondheim. Sondheim. John Wilkes Booth. You shot Lincoln, right? Yeah, but who else? Paul Charles Goody Gutierrez, and I think Chris Black. The glory. Question number eight: The Guantanamo River. The Guantanamo River flows through this European capital city. The Guantanamo River flows through this European capital city. It is not the city. I don't believe the word was Catawba. That's the North Carolina River, but I didn't hear what he said. Catawba River? We have failed miserably. He's not. It's not clear. I have no idea what river that is. I don't even know what question we're on. We're on eight. That was eight. You are one of my Yeah, I'm ready to do, do a word your search. Puzzle. Your puzzle's a little more peaceful than yeah. this. Yeah. You're helping mine. This spells on hands. Linda over here is doing a word search. Jumbles. Oh, babe. This is the longest break he's taken. Okay, what what is four? Moving on. Question number nine. What actor portrayed J B on the show Scrubs? What actor portrayed J B on the show Scrubs? J P. J P. Yeah. I never saw Scrubs. George Clooney? Was it George Clooney? That was ER. That was the original season of ER. But I don't know. I never saw Scrubs. Don't do that. I'm bad. Do you know anybody who was in Scrubs? I didn't even watch Scrubs. She'd rather watch House. <laughs> she, lo she loves House. There were a lot of medical shows there once upon a time. Yeah. Guys, we are All right, seriously fine. Sorry, Tim. Sorry, Tim. What type of insects? What type of insects are the enemy in a bug's life? Let's get what type of insects are the enemy of a bug's life? Oh gosh, I should know this. I saw that movie. Is that right? It is. What are those so big things? They were grasshoppers. Oh, yeah, yeah. So there's your there's your clue. 
we might have more double letters. Um, okay, we're heading up on halftime. What's number two? Before he gives the bonus. Um, this is the name of a party game described as eight second charades. Think of double letters. Parrot. There's not a horn parrot, right? Or a fluffy parrot or whatever that other word was. Oh. Hang on. Hey, here's the bonus. I can give you a couple minutes. Come on, I'm going to shoot the first round of the door. Not ready. You don't have to Your bonus. This is a member of a band of persons engaged in irregular warfare. Honest part of the typical army that is an independent unit carrying out harassment and sabotage. So, once again, this is a member of a band of persons engaged in the regular warfare, not as a party of the typical army, but as an independent unit carrying out harassment and sabotage. Remember, resolve to follow one of the four patterns. So, if you go back to the side, you can take that out. What? Irregular warfare, isn't that guerrilla warfare? Yeah. But, but aren't the mercenaries just one? one mercenaries does not follow any pattern. Give it is out. Well, we're going to work on that. Let me show you what okay. we got. Guys, this is what we have so far. We feel Worst some kind of way about that. <laughs> ever. Uh, but we have not figured out the pattern. It looks like there's a lot of words with double letters in them, including perhaps grasshopper. Michael wrote mercenaries without even questioning it, but I'm pretty sure that would be guerrilla warfare because that has a couple sets of double letters, but I, I don't know if that's even the right pattern. So well, he said a group of people, yeah. so I'm not sure. Guerrillas? I just knew that that's an irregular warfare and it has double Agreed. letters. Agreed. I don't even, mercenaries just means people who are in it for themselves. That doesn't mean they're not fighting there. Alright. Right? Yes. You could be a mercenary and still be a perfectly decent human being. Alright. U E R R. Wait, what's happening? Writing gorilla. Yeah. G U E R R I L L A. Two double letters. Okay, then is this correct? We're talking about constable. Alright, give me. Number two, okay, two. Well, cabbages have two, two. What's seven? Cabbage is that What appropriately yeah. titled Sondheim musical has characters like John Wilkes and Charles Gutierrez and somebody else? Is there a one flew over the cuckoo? Okay, eight. We're gonna ask okay, him the Sunken River flows through this. We're gonna ask him that. Okay, nine. This actor portrayed JP on the show Scrubs. Oh, I forgot his name. He was in the yard. What else has he been in? George? No, this guy. You wouldn't have seen him in anything. He I, a, new, a new commercial with Jason Momoa. Let's change that to Paris. Maybe they all are double letters. What's, okay, two. What would that be? It's not like uh, ribbage. Why not? That's not charade, is it? I don't know what cribbage is. I have no idea. It's a ribbage? board game. Sure. We're, we're desperate here. We we have five blanks. You want to change it to parent? Yeah. He didn't say they all connect. Yeah. City. He said they all have a pattern, but I think he said they have two or three different patterns. We have to figure out all. So some were double doubles. Yeah. And some are just double. Maybe. Okay, then what's constable? I don't know. All right, that parent. That must be another pattern. R R O T. Now has become parent. Alright, the game, charades. No. No. A party game that's described like a split second charade. Charades is where you act things out. Right. Dictionary taboo. Taboo. 
Taboo. Taboo. Is that two O's? It is, it is. Okay. Two B's and O's? No, T-A-B-O-O. Score. That, yeah, tell me, tell me again. Suffle. S-O-U-F-F-L-E. Suffle. Suffle. Yes. Suffle. Yes. Suffle. 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 Bobby? Bobby. Bobby. <laughs> Is it spelled with an I or a Y? I don't remember. Bobby. I like it. I like it. We're on to something. All right. Okay, where are we at now? We're on uh, seven. We got six right. What appropriately titled Song Time Musical has characters like John Bill's Boo? A musical. Any musical will do. Oh, she's... Mom doesn't know musical, it's not Sonder Hunt. The That's King and I. I cannot think of any musicals that involve John Wilkes Booth off the top of my head. I'm going to be mad about this musical. I know it because um, I'm sure it's got to be like an old movie, right? That was turned into a musical. Seven Brides for Seven Brides. The Sound of Music. But again, I'm thinking of John Wilkes Booth. I know. I'm stuck on The King and I, and I can't get past that. Um, What's that place over in Africa? Casablanca. Um, Casablanca. No. Uh, Literally, the only one I can think of is Tootsie, but that's not. Put it down. It's better no, than nothing. Not... Kinky boots. 
I don't think John Wilkes Booth is a We don't know. We didn't think. Uh, did, did we saw Luke and Mormon. There were characters we never thought we'd see in that, too. Why not? I have no idea if Song Kong did it. Why not? Kinky Boots is what we're putting and we're leaving it at this. I'm ashamed. This is luck. I'm ashamed. Me too. It's packed in here now, every single table. All right, here come the answers. So you all know what? Uh, about eight, eight out of the 11, it's about, it's about average, it's very good. There's 11 uh, teams. General knowledge, the Whirlpool Company, we didn't buy it, which is best of the lines, that is the washing machine. Washing oh, right. machine, yay. Dude, what's the word for bird of prey is called? Talons is the word, or talons, I agree. We're so cheesy. Uh, the was a type of boat, famously used in the which European cities and mouths, that is the Venice. Yes. Yeah. Round one was not too bad. All right, number four, lots of wrong answers on this one. Uh-oh. One of the first large flat screen TVs was launched by Sony, and what other company was made to be precisely the initial 42 inches was sold for more than $15,000? That company is... Sharp. Sharp. Precisely. Sharp. Never heard of it. What does Bay stand for? Bay stands for before anyone else. It's my motherfucking bet. Before anyone else. Did you what put anyone or What's the name of the bio? Does the natural habitat of lions? The lions live in the savannah. savannah. Yeah, I told you. I told you. I told you. I told you. A little mermaid. The famous landmark in which it remains famous is Copenhagen. Is that what we put? Oh, thank goodness. Which country is known as the land of the rising sun? That country is Japan. Japan. We're not a little bit of a black whale. They're flags. Duh. We're idiots. They're green. Medical degree. Medical degree. Medical degree. Medical degree. Medical degree. Yay. What is a microscopic? Virus. Okay, I can argue that. I did put virus. Yeah, we all knew that was going to be C Adam. Yeah, we all fucked. Oh, no. Oh, there you go. Dad, 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah. We blew that. It's okay. It's all right. I wasn't going to get it right without help. I thought that Buffalo would be higher. Now, all your answers have one of four letter combinations. Those letter combinations were G U E A S S F F or B B. Let's see how we do. Uh, one, we did not get that. The birds of the Auk family coming to land in Hornets Up. That is the Puffin. The Puffin. Number two. A party name. It's found a split signature name. The name is called Gesture. Gesture. Huh? Never heard of that. The sour cow man. That was made of cabbage. Cabbage. Number four. Lots of you missed this. What could you turn? The French for saucepan refers to both a vessel and a dish. Souffle! We got it, we got one. Not right! What? So, to all you souffle fuckers out there, I enjoy, I enjoy the market of wrong. We're gonna have to blink on this. We just got monetized. We it's delicious, not too nutritious. You have that the holiday, the casserole. You said that we didn't believe it. It's not in France. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Well, the term is used for admiring officer of the United States Corporate of the United Kingdom. But this week, it's her written here, and that is a bailiff. A bailiff. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Number six. Should we just cut it? We've never got this back. It's not so smart for it. It's a dumbbell. It's a dumbbell. I've never heard it called a person. Number seven, what appropriately named uh, Stephen Sondheim High Musical. He was going to be like John Wilkes Booth, Sarah Jane Moore, and Charles P.J. And it's called Assassins. Assassins. We looked that one up. Got there. Right. Break, Lots yeah. of business. Viva La Cava was through this European capital city. It was through Prague. Prague. 
frog. It was a remix. It wasn't it. We didn't even look it up. Dang. We all know we got a fat head in that motherfucker over the there. We don't even know about it. Zach Kraft is correct. Zach Kraft. JD! I thought he said JP. What's up, good sex on the internet about tonight? They're going grasshoppers. And I'm about to be able to learn some lots of teams to get this. Lots of teams got it right. A member of the band, a person to get to be a regular warfare, and that's a party of the Civil Army. There's an independent unit carrying out harassment, sabotage, that would be. Not mercenary. Gorilla yes. warfare. <laughs> I was going to warfare, but I didn't realize when he was asking me if that was the type of person. Well, mercenary didn't fit any pattern, but we always say we don't mind losing because we come to Trinity to learn, and I have learned a lot tonight. So bad. That was embarrassing. That was so embarrassing. Right, we got to pick it up. Second half. We can do it. Let's salvage our reputations here. Linda over here is crushing some word puzzles. She started on puzzle number one, completed it in the first five, and now she's halfway through six. All right, here it is. It's bad. Did he put a score on there anywhere? I guess that's what that is. And we, we missed two more because we put the wrong bonus. Yeah, so what is our score, 12? I guess. 12 out of 22, is that right? That's bad. Number four. Vamos. 
spear man. Spear, S P E A R, man. This is a type of cheese. Spear man. A cheese.
Round four. Good luck. Round number four. Question number one. Are you ready? Wait. Good chief number one. To persistently avoid, ignore, or reject a style of bread. So once again, to persistently avoid, ignore, or reject a style or a type of bread. This is going to be two, two words, and they have to this rhyme. This is about synonyms. Talk it out. Dissect your clue. Talk it out. Two words. Two words that rhyme. Oh, I'm sorry. My phone went to sleep. Oh. Two words that rhyme to persistently avoid, ignore, or reject the type of bread. Wait. Number two. The sweet and fleshy product of a tree. Tailored into fine menswear. The sweet and fleshy product of the tree tailored into fine menswear. I know that one. It's going to be. It's two words okay. that rhyme. The sweet. Fleshy product of a tree tailored into fine men's clothes. And that's going to be fruit soup. The first one was to persistently avoid, ignore, or reject a style of bread. Yeah. Style of bread. Wheat bread, sourdough bread. Chabala bread. Fry. Okay. <laughs> A flying mammal that you wear. A flying mammal that you wear on your head. What flies? What mammals fly? A flying squirrel? They're flying squirrel, but I don't know what it is. I don't think that technically flies. Uh, all right, moving on. Moving on, number four. Number four, a silent military gesture of recognition and respect. A silent military gesture of recognition and respect. Aquatic animals 
favorite type of footwear. This is a type of semi-aquatic animal. And I'll tell you this, I'm sorry. I'll tell you that the semi-aquatic animal has four letters in the title. So it's a type of semi-aquatic animal's favorite type of footwear. The frog frog. I love that. <laughs> I feel the first one we've known since number two. Michael says frog and frog. Wait, that was like one, two, I thought you said four, number five. six. You're right. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right, number seven. Number seven, you wear this on Halloween and carry that in your spirit. Joe for safe. Or happy or lifted. So again, you wear this on Halloween and carry that to keep your spirit safe. Would it be something about your spirit? Would that be a cross? What? I'm just too fast. No. Question number eight. A baby plant in a persistently moisture deficient climate. A baby plant in a persistently moisture deficient climate. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just. Thank you. that. What number is that? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think. So wouldn't it be a sprout or a drought? Yeah. He, has he wrote these himself. It shows. Yeah, work on it, will you? <laughs> you finished all the way through number eight in the puzzle. I need a special assistant on this one. All right, I'm gonna burn nine. Uncontrollable anger about your weekly earnings. Uncontrollable anger. I got it. I got it. Yeah, I feel like y'all felt that. I feel like that was fun. I feel like that was hit personally for a while. Oh, that's stupid. Okay. I feel like I'm back in the game now. Alright, here's my question. Question 10. And are productive workers double fermented IPA? So once again, an unproductive workers double fermented IPA. <laughs>
decide to write their own questions. Oh, <laughs> you have a front kind of. All right, let's, uh, let's work on it. I don't even know what to work on. There's so much. All right, start at number one. To persistently avoid, ignore, or reject a style of bread. Sweet bread. Delete. Halloween and carry this to keep your 
spirit happy, jovial, lifted and safe. There has to be a cross, right? <laughs> What are we working on over there? Wall of Fury, food that comes from the French word for cabbage. The problem is the wheat no pin embroidery. I don't know what these types of What about if we get like points? Needle point. Needle point. It's needle point. What number is that? It's right under coil spin. Silicon. It's needle point. Yes. Thank goodness. A specimen honor and act of understanding. Look 
got to start coughing. No idea the word Christmas, Christmas was in there. Oh, I'm going to start coughing. We're so bad. Rock talk! Rock talk. What? Two rhyme words. Number one, true sisterly award, you're going to reject a style of bread. There are two that I'll take as of now. If you put something different, put your hand up. I'll let you say it. We'll take a group of because I'm a fucking man with me. Persistently avoiding more of Jake Sullivan as a Sean Thorne. Or. Say it. Somebody say it. Forgo sourdough. Do you like it? Do you like it? It works. Why are it works? Oh, 
Okay, we'll do it. Yeah. 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 Everybody, Everybody put that. Everybody. I know, yeah. <laughs> they're still fighting for it. No, no, no. Uh, it no, they're saying somebody said prop, prop. Prop, prop, no prime. Right. Oh my goodness. goodness. It was crazy. Yeah. All right. See you guys another day. Have a good night, guys. Another adventure. Bye, everybody. Bye bye.